Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome if you're new and thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, we really appreciate it. Um, so it's that time of the month again. It's monthly grocery haul time. If you guys have been on my channel before, you see that I do a big old monthly grocery haul once a month with most of the um, pantry, freezer, goods that can last the whole month. Um, and then I do my top up weekly shopping um, as we go throughout the month just to get the fruits, the vegetables, the milk, things like that, that um, can expire on me. So I've kind of done it differently this month just because of my time that I've got um, and the day of the week that everything's fallen. I'm just crazy busy with work right now and I've just had to kind of separate it. So today I've managed to get out to Aldi and do the first part of my grocery haul, which was, is my biggest part probably anyway at Aldi. Um, and then in the next couple days, I'll get to Tesco and I'll get to Costco, obviously, because I know everybody loves the Costco haul. So it's kind of this video is going to be over a couple days. So um, bear with me and we're going to just show you what I've got on the monthly shopping and show you in store the best I can. So let me start with Aldi shopping today. Okay guys, so let's start with my drinks. Um, I got, this is a staple in our house. If you watch my videos, we get this every time. The Fruity Water, um, the Sun Quench Black Current Flavor for Brody. Um, he's not been drinking as much of these because he's back at school now. So um, this will probably last us a couple weeks now. Um, and then just some fizzy lemon and lime water uh, that we like to have. Brody sometimes has that as well. And then of course, the semi skim Milk, which we must get every time I go shopping. <laughs> So there's my drinks. Um, we are having pizza night this Saturday, I think, is on my menu. So I got these dirty fries again from Aldi. They were so good last night and they're $1.99 and they're really good, but they are very spicy. I mean, it says medium, but I find them very spicy, So, but they're good. Um, they're actually freezable as well, which is really good, but they have enough date on me for to use them Saturday. So that's great. Um, and then, because obviously it's my monthly grocery haul, I like to get as many meats as I can and everything to stop my meat freezer. So I've got two of these chicken fajita stir fry. They're not the usual ones I get, but they're, we don't usually get the chicken fajita ones, but I guess it's just a different seasoning on them, which is fine. Uh, we like fajitas, so this is fine. We'll add this and then I'll add my own broccoli in it um, or whatever vegetables I'll add into it as well, just to spice it to give it a bit more bulk and then also i'll have it with cauliflower rice and rich will have it i have brought brown brown rice now for rich and brody to have <laughs> so there's two of those um okay and then i got some streaky bacon i already had some in the fri uh, freezer but um me and rich kind of were talking the other day and it would be nice on a sunday for us to do cooked breakfast which i will try and get into because we had one for mother's day and it was quite nice and brody enjoyed it so i got some more bacon um some more sausages six Cumberland sausages. And then under there, you can see I've got the barbecue smoked ribs as well from Aldi, which is really good. Um, really enjoying these and Brody started to like these as well now. So it's a good little meal for us also to have. Um, and then I've got this beef roasting joint, which I didn't look at the first of April. Um, so I'll probably keep this just in the fridge because I'm going to use this for next Sunday. It's not going to be this Sunday's roast dinner, but it'll be next Sunday on my meal plan. So that's a good long time. Um, so that's that. I got uh, two salmon fillets. I've been doing these in my new Food Ninja air fryer and they're so good in there. Really quick and easy. So put some lemon on them and some oil and it's really good. Uh, okay. And then I've got some beef quarter pounders. Um, put these in the freezer and then have them on my meal plan when we went they defrost fine like we had them the other night after they'd been in the freezer for a couple weeks and really good. And then of course my large pack of chicken breast fillets that I get every month. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five breasts it looks like in there. So that will make us at least two or three meals probably. I'll, separ I'll take that out and put them in Ziploc bags in the freezer. So that's how I work that. And then I got some more stuffing mix because of my roast dinner coming up next Sunday and also to have some for Easter Sunday as well because we'll probably do a roast dinner for that as well. Um, I got some little snackies for Rich, some roasted salted peanuts. He likes to have these on hand. Um, and then of course, another staple in our house from Aldi, the meat stir sticks. We are being used to get the big ones, um, but Brody's really been liking the tiny ones. They're a bit easier as a snack. Um, so he enjoys these better than the Pepperoni actual brand. He says they taste nicer, which I agree with him. <laughs> but 
So um, he's been liking those. And for £1.49 for a 10-pack, they're really good. And I just seen that it's gluten-free as well, which is something that I'm kind of trying to look out for for some things because I think I'm going to try and cut out as much gluten as I can from our diet. It's something coming up, see if it helps us, but we'll see. We'll do our best. Um, and then I got some more salsa. This was really good last time. I pretty much ate it in two days. <laughs> uh, hummus. Again, we like to dip everything in it. Um, and then I got these packs of rice. So I got two of these golden vegetable rices, which were really good last time. So they were nice. And then also my usual Mexican style rice it tastes exactly the same as uncle Ben's and it's 39 P. So bargain at Aldi for those and they'll go for my tacos and taco bowls, etc. Um, and then back here, I've got my canned staples. It's that time of the month again, where we fill those cupboards. <laughs> I got three beef vegetable soups, which I like to have. I actually have been eating some of these for lunch. While well, I've been home and Brody last week when Brody went to school, these were my lunch. But these can fill a dinner as well. Brody loves soup as well, so it's a good meal. Um, two cans of chopped toms, three cans of sweet corn in water, and then I got some beans for the chicken chili that I've been making in the Ninja Foodie um, slow cooker part is so good. I'm going to have to make a video of that for you guys, but I got some red kidney beans and some mixed beans in there and I'll just throw those all in. I usually get the taco beans. It's called taco beans, I guess. I forget what it's called. Taco beans. I think they're called from Aldi, but they didn't have any today. So I just went with the mixed beans and some red kidney beans. So that should be fine. It really doesn't matter whatever you throw in there, what you like. Moving on. I got a bag of white potatoes for dinners, for sides, and then I got snacky bits again, mini blueberry muffins. There's 16 in a pack. Uh, Brody and Rich both likes to snack on that. And obviously their blueberry get a little bit of fruit in them. I mean, they are high or in fat and sugars. Um, we try and do our best. So we won't eat too many of those at once, it seems. Um, and then just a bit of produce for the week because it is actually a Tuesday today already. And I kind of have bits ready for this week. Anyway, I've got mushrooms, which we put in everything. I got two bags of celery because we love celery. And as I said, dip it in the hummus, put it in peanut butter. So we go through those quite quickly. I got another thing of wonky strawberries. I've been really enjoying these as a snack or just on my lunch side. Really nice and refreshing. I know it's not even really spring yet and it's, you know, I'm getting into the summery fruits. <laughs> Um, I got one of these, sorry about the glare. I got one of these char grilled chicken Caesar salads. They're $1.99 from Aldi. I've had them before and they're really good. So I got one of these for one of my lunches. Um, right. Oh, and then my little avocado that I've got here ready for my anything like my taco bowls or whatever that might be this week. We're having tacos on Friday, so that will probably go with tacos. Um, this is something new at Aldi that I saw. They had a few different kinds of these um, like fruit ice cream pop things. Uh, this was the one I picked up and it is, um, an eight pack has eight lollies in there and it says real fruit splits, real fruit flavored ice lollies with an ice cream center. So they look really refreshing and they've got pineapple, strawberry, and black currant flavors. They looked really good. So and they say only 67 calories per lolly. So they looked really yummy. They're refreshing. Again, I'm getting into the summery things and we're not even in spring yet. <laughs> um, and then so some Cod fish fingers, which is a staple again. If you watch my videos, I probably get it every time. Again, pizza night is on Saturday night. This little garlic bread um, is quite a good deal. It's 99p, so we like those with our pizza nights. And then this stuffed crust cheese takeaway pizza um, is really good as well. So that will do us for Saturday night pizza night. Um, and then I've got some more summer fruits, um, frozen berries to put in shapes. I really. I bought these a couple weeks ago with some oats in them and I haven't actually opened them and tried them yet, but I'm going to get back on it for breakfast is to do these. Um, really trying to do my better bit about being healthy and I just need to commit to it a bit better. Trying our best, you know, it's been crazy this year. <laughs> so that's that summer fruit. So it's got um, raspberries and blackberries in there. Yeah, it looks nice anyway. So, and then some frozen French fries, just as a side for, you know, an easy peasy meal when I can't, you know, get around to making something a bit nicer. These are easy to throw. I've been throwing them in my air fryer, my Ninja Foodie. I keep saying about it, but is is the best thing ever. <laughs> so then I got some garlic bread, 10 garlic bread slices. We like the slices. They're nice. So they'll go good with the side of spaghetti or whatever. 
Um, and then I've got some brioche burger buns for those for burger nights. They again, freeze great. It says freezeable, they're perfect. I've got them out the other night for burger night and from the freezer, defrosted them and they're perfect, tasted fine. Another 50-50 um, Kingsville bread, which we need. I'll put this one in the freezer because we're okay for bread at the moment. Um, and then over here, I've got some more of the original wraps for quesadillas, um, even for burrito nights. And sometimes when we have taco nights, Brody would rather have a quesadilla or a burrito, so I can make him one of those in those. So that's fine. And then top up, because it's that time of the month, we top up on all our needs in the cupboards. So I got some more penny pasta, and I got two things of spaghetti, because we go through that sometimes on a Sunday night when I don't have anything planned, like a roast dinner or something big, and it's like a nice casual Sunday, I just do pasta. Anyone wants whatever they want on it. You know, if they want meat in it, that's fine. If they just want cheese or butter or whatever it is, that's what we do. It's easy peasy. <laughs> um, and then, sorry about the mess behind here. I have a project going with some paint, so just ignore that for me, please. <laughs> um, I got three of these Greek yogurts for me and Rich. They're Greek, 0%. Fat free, high protein. This one is a raspberry, and I think I got two strawberry flavored. Yes. So they're really nice. I enjoy those as well. And then Brody likes these vanilla flavored yogurts, which is a Berkeley Light 0% added sugar, fat free. So he really likes these ones. Um, and they're quite a good size for him now. I mean, he's five and a half, he'll be six in July, and you know, he can eat pretty much a whole one. So they're a good size for him as well. And I feel better about giving those for him for like a pudding instead of chocolate or something. Okay, and then I got some mozzarella for a lasagna I'm going to make early next week. And then some sunflower spread. Some cheese drinks, haven't got these in a couple weeks. Um, but now, you know, I'm back working and Brody's at school. These will become in good handy when I'm out and about back in my car, out and about at work, once I stop working at home, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Um, and then I've got two of these full fat soft cheese, um, cream cheese. Rich has been loving this with his celery and dipping things in it. So he can have one of those. And the other one will be for my chicken chili in the crock pot. Um, again, Red Lester, staple in this house. Love it. Must have it on hand. <laughs> and then we got some baby bells. Rich takes these for lunch as well. And once I'm out about on the road again for work, these will be a good staple for my lunch as well. Another staple. You guys know me by now. If you've been watching sour cream, have to have sour cream. I have it on the side of everything. Eggs, tacos, you know, anything and everything I'll put aside of you know, sour cream, even like if I had like chicken nuggets or something, I can dip them in there. It's really nice. <laughs> um, some breakfasty type of snack things, these five chocolate fudge brownie fiber now bars. Um, Brody really likes these. These are 84 calories. They're kind of like a dupe of what you can get at Tesco. I always forget what they're called at Tesco, but these are like 109 at Aldi and the ones at Tesco, unless they're on color card, which sometimes they are for like 125. They're like over two pounds. So it's five bars in there. He likes those sometimes um, for a snack or even a morning, quick morning breakfast. And then I got some more golden oats, golden cereal, syrup oats, um, the Harvest Morn brand. Um, Rich really loves these. And you get eight in a packet, eight individual sachets to take with him to work. He likes those. And then a snack for me is some whole almonds. We'll eat these by the handful. And then another snack for all of us and just some savory crackers. Yeah, so we ran out of those as well, which Brody loves those. Right, so I'm just over here on the other counter. I couldn't fit it all, but these are my like non-food items that I got, um, a couple from Aldi, and I actually went to a different store I'll have to talk to you about today. So I got this um, square drawer organizers. There's two in a pack. I talked about these last week on my shop to Aldi. I got, if you remember the one long one, and there was, they actually did have some left. I was lucky this was the last one because I wanted this because I'm going to be doing, uh, putting in a new vanity in our ensuite upstairs. You will see that all in a video when I get that all organized. Um, but these are going to go in there for some organization. So there's two square drawer organizers in there, a two pack, two pound 49 bargain, but um, they're very short pickings. The last one, as I said, in my store. And then I got two packs of wipes. Um, we were running out of, and then I got the multi-surface polish, which I needed as well for my cleaning. Right, so as I said, I went to a different store today. I went to Home Bargains. Um, I've actually, this is the first time I've ever been to Home Bargains. I've never been there before. 
And I went in there for something else. I'd seen online that they had some nice glass and bamboo lid containers for like, say your, your um, pantry storage. And I wanted those, but my store near me didn't have anything like that. So, um, but while I was in there, I picked up a couple things that I needed anyway that were on my Tesco list. So I will just cross them off my Tesco list and got them. And I actually saved a little bit of money. This was £2.49 instead of, I mean, £2, I think it's like £3 at Tesco, I think. Um, Comfort Intense 60 washes. So I got that. And then another thing that was on my list for Tesco, which was some bubble bath for me. Shower gel, but I'll put it in the bubble bath for my bath anyway. Um, so let's Flamingle Limited Edition by Imperial Leather. Pink, lychee, and raspberry flavoring. Not flavoring because you're not going to eat it, but smell, I guess. So that was from Home Bargains. That was 99p. So again, I was going to get 99p worth of um, bubble bath at Tesco anyway. So I probably saved 50p there. But I went in there for something else and thought I would get those walls in there because I'm not going to get to Tesco today. Hi guys, so now I'm at Costco. It's a couple of days later. I finally got some time uh, to get away and go to Costco. So let's get in there and see what cool stuff they have this week and see what we can come away with. Okay, okay so as soon as I come in the door, they have these food ninjas that I just got one for Christmas as a present. So I don't know, it's 179 98 for that. So it's got the three pressure cooker, air fryer, and the slow cooker in it. They're really good. So I really recommend these if you need something like this at home. It does everything in one, so it's great. I know it's expensive, but it's a really good piece of equipment. So they're getting ready for spring, summer with all their plants they have. So these little trays, um, this 12 little trays for eight, six, nine, 10, 42 with tax. They're really pretty and they've got some big trees and everything. They're really cute. So they have these huge olive trees in here. They're massive. They're so big, but they're so nice. They're olive trees. So $399.99, so 400 pound for this massive olive tree. And then if you move down, they've got these. Is it golden bamboo? 18 liter pot for $39.58. Again, with all the summer stuff, they have these two packs of cushions. So you got like an orangey color, a blue, and a flowery. They're a two pack, and they're at 20 pound 38. Okay, people, I am now back from Costco, and I did go to Tesco as well. It's a bit later at night, so I'm trying to get this done so I can get the rest of the dinner sorted and everything. Um, this is my Costco haul, and then I will show you Tesco afterwards. So I got some... Greek salad. Um, this will do us for lunches and dinner all weekend. It's really good. I'm gonna have some in a minute. Um, I got the three pack of beef hot dogs. They're Kirkland brands. These are $13.99, but there's three packs, and in each pack there are 12 hot dogs. So they're really good. We actually bought these, I don't know, two months ago, and I've only just used the last pack. Um, and then again, I got another pack of these sweet and spicy sauce, Korean style fried chicken. So good in the air fryer. I've explained to you this before, how good this was with the sauce. And we finally discovered the sauce in the bag. And then also in the air fryer, they're really good. Good easy, easy meals. Um, I got these as well. They were on sale for £7.90, I think. Um, they're a variety pack, Nature Valley Crunchy Bars. Variety pack, there's 10 Canadian maple strip. 10 oats and dark chocolate and 20 of the oats and honey. So they're quite good. So 42 bar packs. So there's two bars in each pack. So... 80 bars all together, so good for the boys. Um, and then I got, of course, my rotisserie, if I can, I can't even open the bag, I'm opening the bag. Um, my rotisserie chicken in there, so I'll let that cool. I might have some tonight for dinner, or shred it tomorrow um, for lunches and stuff. And then I got my ragu six pack, because we are, only had two left, so I got another pack of those for, I mean, it's less than, five pound for six of these. I mean, you can't beat it. Um, I got my Skippy Crunchy Peanut Butter. I got two of them this month. I keep saying I'm gonna buy two for us, but one is actually for my dad as a belated Christmas present because we haven't seen them since before Christmas. So this is gonna be part of his Christmas present. <laughs> um, and some hummus. It's the nutty and flavorsome hummus with olive oil. Um, we love that for dipping. And then the big grape, big thing of gra grapes again, the purple grapes, so fresh. 
and good and lasts us a couple weeks. Um, and then again, our bag of 50 pancakes, there's two in each bag, so 25 portions. Um, they're so good and for less than four pound, um, Rich likes to take them for breakfast and take them easy peasy for breakfast meals. So that is my Costco haul. Um, and let me show you my all right, guys, I'm all over here, all over the place tonight on different countertops because I have another video that I'm filming tomorrow for kitchen pantry organization storage. I got my, all my organization bins on the other side of my counter. It's crazy in here. So please excuse the mess. So I got this big Reese's egg, um, from Tesco. They are three ninety five instead of five pound with your Tesco club card right now. So, so good price. They come with the three little mini eggs and then the big egg in there. And they're really, they're really low on stock. So get there quick. I got my four bags of steamed cauliflower rice. Um, so I have on the side, my side dishes, if they're having rice, this is what I go for. We needed to get some more for the freezer. I got my unsweetened vanilla almond milk as usual. This is one pound 50 instead of two pound on your club card. And they only have three in on the shelf. So I got two because I'm scared they might stop selling it, which I hope they don't because I, I literally buy it all the time and I love this almond milk. So I hope they don't get rid of it, but there was only three left. And so I got two, um, this little tube of mini eggs. This is for Easter, um, inside the classic Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt. That's going in those. And then, um, a big Coke zero for rich for the weekends. And then I got two top of seasonings just to top up my supply. I like to keep those on hand. And then a little new home card for my sister who's just moved house. So those are my hauls for the day. Hi guys. I was just, um, editing my video and I didn't even realize that I hadn't even done like the end of my video that I filmed last night for my grocery haul. So I just thought I'd come on here and make sure I ended my video. <laughs> and so I did my grocery um, haul for the month. I've been, you've seen Aldi and Costco and a bit of Tesco. I had to do it a little bit different this month and do it on a couple different days just because of time schedules, etc. Um, so I got it all done last night. Thank goodness. So that's me sorted for the weekend. Um, hope you guys saw a couple new things in my shop with me part of Costco. I showed you some summary, like new plants and things, bit of, um, garden furniture in there now. It's, um, but other than that, it wasn't too much new stuff and it got really busy. So I didn't film too much in Costco. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I've also got a, um, organization video coming to you guys at some point this week. Um, so you're going to get two videos from me this week. Um, cause I missed last week as well, just cause it was mother's day here in the UK. So I took a break, um, from filming and editing, but hope you guys liked this one and saw some good stuff, good ideas for meals and, uh, some snacks and whatever else, breakfast ideas, whatever else you might've got out of this video. I'm hope it helps give you some motivation, give you some ideas, give you a good look at what they have in the stores. Um, so if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll tell you every time I post a video. I do all uh, my grocery hauls on here. I do organization, home life, mom life, um, decor, that kind of thing. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.